Hello and welcome to Attacking Third, a CBS Sports Soccer Podcast. I'm Sandra Herrera, lead NWSL writer for CBS Sports, joined today as always by my colleague and co-host, Lisa Roman, NWSL analyst and broadcaster. On today's episode, we have a special guest interview for everyone. We are joined today by Sofia Jakobsen, a Swedish international, two-time Olympian, three-time World Cup appearances, formerly with Bayern Munich, but now joining NWSL as a four with San Diego Wave FC. Welcome to the show, Sofia. How are you? Thank you. I'm really good. Um, I'm at home at my parents, uh, spending some time with uh, my family and training hard to be prepared for for the upcoming season and also for the national team who's coming up next month. Wonderful. Uh, you know, we we we're so excited to get you back on the show, me especially, to get a chance to chat with you. I know Lisa spoke with you back in August ahead of the Women's Cup in, in Louisville, and now we're so happy to to have you back with us. And congrats on joining San Diego Wave FC. And I don't know if you know this, but, you know, the news of your arrival to NWSL was met with a lot of enthusiasm. Uh, you could see all kinds of things on social media, a lot of the American fan base, very excited to have you coming to NWSL. So just to maybe kick things off, uh, how did you <laughs> feel about <laughs> Uh, no, I just wanted to say, like, how did you sort of feel about seeing, did you see any of that? Did you see any of the reactions? Uh, you know, how did that make, maybe make you feel if you get get a chance to, to see all of that? Yeah, I saw uh, a lot on the social media, of course, um, especially on Twitter where you can be tagged and so on. So it feels uh, great to have a fan base over there and that they know my name. Uh, I have been playing in Europe the whole time of my career, so it's uh, nice to see something else. And also, hopefully, I can uh, come and show my kind of football over there. A huge congratulations, right? Um, but how did this trade happen? How did this transfer happen? Can you walk us through how it went down? Did you start the conversation? Did someone come to you? Um I don't really know everything because it's going through my agent. So um, everything kind of went really fast by me not playing so much at Bayern Munich and um, that I have an important tournament with the Swedish national team coming up in in the summer and that I really want to play more games and get some more minutes. Um, so this chance came up and my agent was talking to me about it and then uh, I just felt like it was a great opportunity to to join this adventure and the, the new team um, of San Diego. So, yeah, it was just really fast and I'm super happy about it and really exciting. I have just been playing in Europe, so obviously this will be a new, new adventure for me. Just playing in Europe, but going now to San Diego, there's players that will be your teammates that you've played against a lot on U.S. national yeah. teams. I mean, the likes of Abby Dahlkamper, Alex Morgan, Canadian goalkeeper, Kaylin Sheridan, um, and then Casey Stoney as the head coach of San Diego. Is there a certain person or certain people that you're really looking forward to working with? Uh, obviously, everybody, but it's... It's nice to know some people that I, mm -hmm. I don't know them personally, personal, but uh, I have played against them and they are super great players and uh, I'm excited to get to know them as persons too. Um, so yeah, it would be cool to play with uh, such great players. You know, I want to, um, you know, ch uh, chat a little bit about uh, your playing history. You've you've had to got to play with so many different leagues now um, and different competitions. UEFA Women's Cup, the the Champions League, Women's Super League for Chelsea, German uh, you know Bundesliga, French division, and most recently <laughs> you know, also Spanish Primera. You know, so now that you're joining NWSL. Um, in your experience, how has playing in so many different leagues uh, shaped your football style? Um, yeah, I think uh, when I joined the French side of Montpellier, uh, it's helped me a lot with the technical football where I always had the speed in my game and this uh, attacking ability, but there I uh, got to learn, oh, now we are falling. <laughs> uh, I got to learn to play more tactical 
uh, technical football. So playing in all of these different leagues and now coming to the NWSL, as you mentioned, you've played your entire career in Europe. Um, and and during the Women's Cup, uh, we talked about your European style of play. So what is it about coming to the American League um, that really interests you? Uh, I would say the speed of the game, the... Mm-hmm. The transition from attacking to defense is similar to the uh, uh, how can I explain this to the national team how we play mm-hmm. when we are in big tournaments and so on. So it's more similar to the international football and uh, I think it's a great opportunity for me to keep it up with my um, level and also be really prepared for the big tournaments. Um, you know, so when you had just signed with Bayern in, in July 2021, prior to that, you know, you were with the CD Tacon, which was really like what we know now is the foundation for, for Real Madrid. Mm-hmm. And now with joining San Diego Wave FC, you'll you'll be a part of it's kind of similar. You will be a part of a new club uh, in NWSL uh, starting to grow and, and develop their own identity and culture. So what about that? helping to build something new seems interesting or intimidating if, if, if that's the case for you. Mm. No, I think it's really interesting to start up with this new team. Obviously it's, uh, have already been big signs with uh, Abby and Alex and all of these other players. So uh, it's not exactly like Tacon where we was uh, really, it was really young team with not so much experience and, so it's kind of different, but in one way, the same with the new in the league and everything. So it feels like it's already have been a team, even if we have not met yet. <laughs> <laughs> because the players have a lot of experience and, and they're coming together on this team. So um, American fans, they know Alex and they know Abby and they know you from the international game. But um For fans of the NWSL that don't know you very well, what are three things that you want fans to know about your style of football? Mm, um, I would say I'm a hardworking player. Um, I can run a lot and I'm also very fast. And I would say I'm I'm a good... um, I have good abilities to cross the ball and also score some goals. So I would say I'm a really, really attacking player, but also hardworking for the team. Um, I'm excited to see what you bring um, for San Diego and in, in, uh, in NWSL. And I know that in the history, sometimes in the past, during the cycles of, you know, in between Olympics and World Cup, sometimes we see uh, club transfers for for players, players who are looking for different training environments ahead of big tournaments. Do you feel that like NWSL will will aid you in this in your preparation for the upcoming World Cup, considering, you know, the UEFA qualifiers are, are right around the corner and will take place this year? Yeah, uh, I'm looking forward, first of all, meeting the team and then I hopefully get more minutes to play. And uh, also, like I said before, that this type of games that plays over there in the US is more like international football. So I think I will be well prepared for the Euros coming up in England this summer. Yes, the European leagues happening and international play happening. Um, But... Off the pitch, you're going to be heading to sunny and warm San Diego. (laughs) I'm not sure if you've been there, how much Googling you've done about San Diego. Have you ever been there or been to California? Uh, Yeah, I have been in L.A. once with the national team, but obviously we didn't see so much about the. We saw a hotel and basically a soccer field, so not so much else. Yeah, that's that's usually how it goes, right? You eat, sleep soccer but yeah. now you and get also to- it was a lot of the jet lag so we was kind of yeah. tired i guess <laughs> i bet well well now you're heading to sunny san diego it's it's beautiful there it's a great place to play soccer is there anything that you're excited for outside of soccer to move to california 
Yeah, I have obviously uh, seen pictures and uh, also my best friend is from um, LA. So I have heard that San Diego is a super nice city. So I'm looking forward to it a lot. And also I love the sunny weather, so it will suit me perfect. <laughs> there's a lot of, Sophia, there's a lot of surfing in San Diego. Do you have plans to try out surfing or go surfing at all? I would love to learn that, but I have heard that it's super hard. I have snowboarding a little bit, but I heard it's nothing like that. So I'm not sure if I'm going to try or I'm waiting after my soccer career. It's sounds a little bit dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, you, you mentioned at the, at the top of the episode, Sophia, that you were, um, you know, back at home and spending some time with your parents before you do head overseas to the United States. What are you looking to, to do b before you leave for the NWSL season? Is it just spending some extra time with family and friends or maybe some extra training? Uh, both. I'm trying to spend as much as time as possible with my family and friends, brother and sister and their kids. Um, and then obviously training really hard. And I'm doing like uh, preseason by myself. We are going to the gym and running. And um, yeah, and then uh, 14th of February, we are with the national team flying to Algarve Cup. Will you stay in Sweden until uh, you join again with your national team? Yeah, I would stay. I'm they working on the visa and uh, everything to be smooth for me to coming over there and uh, be ready 100%. Uh, something that we've been doing with our uh, player interviews uh, during this month of January. We're, we're still in January, so we're still ringing yeah. in the new year <laughs> in attacking third. So we've been asking players, you know, if uh, they set, uh, you know, any New Year's resolutions for themselves or if they set any kind of, uh, you know, goals for the, the new year in 2022. So for you, uh, what are your short term goals or long term goals, uh, you know, uh, on the soccer pitch or personally off of it that you have set for yourself? Yeah, I'm not a person who set like New Year's goals but obviously for my soccer i always try to put up some goals that i want to achieve and uh, first of all i hopefully can be fit for the whole season and stay healthy um but uh, ob uh, the first thing for me is to fly over to us and be prepared for the san diego and meet everybody and settle into the team and i hope that, that will be uh, going fast so I can feel uh, fast at home. It's far away and uh, yeah, so that's the first goal. And the second uh, goal for me is to uh, play really well for the team. And then obviously I hope uh, Sweden can take a gold medal in the Euros. <laughs> I, we are waiting for that gold medal a long time now and have been playing really well. So I hope uh, it's uh, our time. I have one more follow up. I'm going to make it holiday related again, because I feel like we're still in the holiday spirit along with the New Year's spirit. We've yeah. also had some players and some coaches. We had Freya Kuman, right? She told us about mm -hmm. the dish and we had uh, Maria Sanchez on and she told us about what kind of tamales she likes to eat with, with her family during the holidays. So for you, Sophia, since you are still spending time with your family, when it came yeah. to the holidays, is there a particular holiday activity or food that you like to enjoy during, uh, during the holidays? Yeah, everything that my mom cook, I would say. It's so <laughs> nice to be at uh, home and eating the food of my parents obviously my mom is cooking more than my dad he's not that good i would say <laughs> uh, are there so any... it's more you uh go ahead sorry no it's it's okay <laughs> are there any recipes that you are gonna bring with you to san diego and, and try out when you move there i don't know i'm more like uh when i'm training and stuff i'm kind of want food fast and that my mom cook is more like long cooking food <laughs> so i don't really have time for this kind of food. are you trying to say you're more like your dad or you don't do the cooking? yeah i would say no but i'm cooking well but i probably doing more like uh, not cooking for so long sometimes i feel like the food never gets ready <laughs>
<laughs> oh my gosh! What we'll have, you know, we'll have to do? We'll have to have a follow up with you when you finally do get to the states. When you settle into with San yeah. Diego, and maybe you get a chance to take in some of uh, the cuisine okay, and, uh, in California, we'll follow up yeah. with you about that for sure. Yeah, I don't. We, we don't do. want to. It's, uh, it's good food. I'm not bad at uh, cooking, but it's like <laughs> after training, I really want food kind of fast. Well, yeah, you're burning through so much. You're gonna say, "Give it to me." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No make sure we'll, we'll we'll make sure that <laughs> San Diego uh, Wave FC make sure that they have uh, the appropriate catering for you guys after after yeah. training. Maybe they'll take care of you. <laughs> yeah, fast. <laughs> Sophia, I want to thank you uh, for for joining us uh, today. We appreciate your time. As always, we don't want to take up too much more of it. We know you're spending time with your family, so thank you for for spending some of that time with us as well. We always like to thank our listeners, so thank you to all of our listeners for joining thank us you, today. Everyone. Yes, uh, safe travels. Congrats again on the big trade to San Diego Wave FC. We like to remind everybody uh, that our show is on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, anywhere you listen to your mm-hmm. podcast shows. We're also available as video. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Visit youtube.com slash attacking third. And uh, we will be back Monday with more uh, coverage and interviews for Sandra Herrera, Lisa Roman and Sofia Jacobson. This was Attacking Third.